Price. And I'm Cambry Davis. And, and we're from Valley View. Together, we're going to be making a banana pudding that is healthier. First, you'll need True Whip, a bowl to mix, your fat-free and sugar-free Jello pudding. You'll need your slim and fat-free milk. You'll also need a banana, a knife, a cutting board, and a spoon. You also need some animal crackers, and you'll also need a container for the banana pudding. First, we're going to take our jello pudding and put that in the bowl. Then, you're going to put your slim and fat-free milk in. Then you're going to mix. It smells really good. Make sure you get all the white chunks out and you mix it till it's just a runny liquid. Make sure you get all the chunks out. This step might take a moment. Okay, once you have that stirred, you wanna take your condensed coconut milk and mix that in as well. And mix that good too. This should thicken it up a bit. Mm -hmm. And this should take a, a little bit for you, for you to mix it up, but not that long. It smells super good. Once you have all of that mix, you're going to take half your true container and you're going to fold it into your mix. Only half of it though. You don't want all of it. And make sure you fold it. Don't and, stir it. And folding is not the same thing as stirring. So this might take even long. This might take a little bit longer than uh, mixing up your condensed coconut milk. Because this is just a lot, this is a lot more. You wanna make sure you're not mixing it, that way it doesn't get too runny. Because mm -hmm. this is what really tends to thicken it up. You want to make sure you get everything off the sides too, just so you're not wasting any extra batter. Because we wouldn't want to do that. Sometimes you do have to mix the sides like into the rest of the batter though, because it does tend to get stuck. It looks delicious. Once you have that mix, you'll need to set that off first to the side for a moment. And you'll unpeel your banana 
and, and get your butter knife. Yes, and you'll put it on the chopping board, and <laughs> you'll... <laughs> I'm gonna get a new banana. One second. Okay, once we take our banana and we unpeel it, unpeel it, we're gonna put it on the chopping board for it to get chopped into slices. Make sure this is small slices. They can't be too thick, otherwise they will not fit good in your container. But if you do like them thick, after you try this recipe a few times, that's up to you. You can choose to cut up your whole banana, but we don't have very big containers, so we're only cutting up around half the banana. So next, you should take your banana, I mean your container, okay. and you put your uh, animal cracker pieces at the bottom. Into, yes, at the bottom of the container. Then you're going to take a slice of your banana, and you're gonna put it in. Then you're gonna take about a spoonful of that mixture that you made earlier into your container. This honestly depends on what size your container is. Ours is quite small. Then you're going to layer it with, then you're gonna layer it again. You're gonna, with a, Animal, with a, two animal crackers, it depends on what size your cup is. And then you're gonna do another banana. Maybe two, we could fit two in yeah, this we part. Fit two. It really just depends. <laughs> Once you have about a few layers in there, you're gonna want to go ahead and Put just like one or two, like one scoop left, like on top. Yes. You don't want to put too much of the mixture on it, mm -hmm. otherwise it's going to be runny. After, you, it should look something like this. It's and after, super tasty. And you need to refrigerate it for one hour. See, come back then.